Oh, he loves his caterpillar. Oh, he loves the caterpillar. Yeah. He loves it. Hey, Dagon. Yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, it's Hippo Kid here. We got an update on Dagon. Uh, we did get test results back, and I got a voicemail from it. Uh, give me a second. Uh, it's gonna sound a little bit funky, but here we go. Hi, Will. Is it from Bell Ridge Animal Hospital? I just wanted to discuss the blower results for Dagon. We did get everything in just a little bit ago. Um, I just wanted to kind of get an update, see how he's doing. I know you said he's eating some, but he still seems a little bit lethargic. Um, on blood work, we are getting kind of an increase in a white cell called a monocyte. It can indicate maybe an infectious process or even an inflammatory process. The only other thing we're seeing on blood work is we're positive for something called feline corona antibody. Now, coronavirus in cats, you know, we do kind of vaccinate them for it, and they can pick it up and not actually have an active infection. So just because we test positive doesn't necessarily mean we, mean we have this virus. In some cats, this virus can definitely mutate and turn into something we call infectious, feline infectious peritonitis. Um, I think this is a little less likely in Dagon, but it's still a possibility. I would definitely say we monitor him if it looks like his belly is getting really big or expanding or anything like that. There's an additional test we can do to check for this disease. Um, but we would need kind of basically fluid from his belly. He doesn't have fluid in his belly. So I do recommend we get him on some maybe some antibiotics right now, see how he does with those. And if he's not doing better, we would need to consider further testing. Definitely give us a call back. So that's what the doctor said. Um, we did go and pick up the antibiotics and give him some. He's acting a bit normal. He's not wanting to eat the food we got him. Uh, we, we're going to try to get some more food for him. He's he's being a bit more playful right now. He's wanting to like be pet and everything. So that's a good sign. Um, I looked up information about what they said that his uh, coronavirus could mutate into. And if it mutates into that, we got problems because it's uh, uncurable, and the only treatments would only extend his life for a few months. So, but they said that we don't have to worry about that possibly with him, just to monitor him. So we have him locked in the bedroom, keeping him pretty much away from everyone else, because we do have two kittens. I'm gonna be uh, splicing in a video here of the two kittens, and. Um, so we gave him his antibiotics. He's not too happy about that. I'm going to be here picking up some of his favorite canned food. Um, we're going to keep him out monitor of that. I brought in a litter box just for him and water and treats and everything just for him in here. Just to keep him separated from the kittens. Uh, we're going to keep watch of him and, uh, over the next few days. And call the vet and find out when we can reintroduce him to the other cats and see if that helps. Um... Because he doesn't like being locked in the room so much. Uh, but we just wanted to do a quick video update here of what's going on with them. For, mainly for friends and family. Because uh, I don't want to have to call every last person and tell them exactly what's going on. So the video is here to help out with that. Um, but yeah. He's, he's doing not the best. But we're going to keep working with him. Um, we're going to be trying to do everything we can to take care of him uh, and as for the regular videos we're gonna be trying to do some regular videos still in there but with us having to watch him it's gonna be a bit staggered so we might do more vloggy videos than normal for at least for like a week or so but yeah uh, thanks for keeping up with us guys uh, you guys support really helps I'm uh, sorry about the messy room but all right, well, this has been Hippo Kitty. Remember, always follow your dreams. Peace, peace.